Hello everyone. Um, today we are going to go into a little bit more in depth into the poses and how they work and how to keep you safe. Um, making sure that your alignment um, is is good. So the main thing that I would be concerned about are that is, is your alignment um, in doing poses and just in doing life in general. So the first thing I want to talk about is just sitting and standing, okay? So we do these, so even when you're not doing yoga poses um, or yoga, you should, or hopefully after this, will be always aware um, of how you sit and how you stand and how you walk and how you carry yourself, okay? So once you get used to it, it becomes habit but it's amazing how we can get into bad habits um, just because of life in general, okay? So, in sitting, just because I'm sitting, so if you decided, what would be great is if you would just change, maybe if there's a program that you watch or you watch television for an hour, maybe instead of sitting on the couch um, like this, that you might try sitting on the floor. You can sit with your back up against the couch or up against a wall, but that you, um, when you sit on the floor, you open up the, um, the hips and your spine is straighter and it's just so much more beneficial and so much better for your body. So if you, we'll do a side view, are sitting, you don't want to be sitting like this, okay, or slouched over because that's not the curvature of the spine. This is what you want, a nice little um, curve on your back, okay? So the key to sitting, you can totally sit up against the wall, that is no problem, and you can sit here nice and straight and bring your um, legs in towards you, or you can sit in the floor. If you are, the key <clears throat> to sitting in good posture is for me is just to sit on your sit bones okay so let's see you can see better um so the sit bones are where your butt and your leg meet okay so just on the on the crease there we tend to think that our sit bones are back here so we end up sitting on our tailbone which makes us have to to sit like this um, to keep our balance. But if you cross the legs, and they can be here or even here, whatever feels good, but usually just, and you don't have to have them all, you can have them flat like this. You know, it can be, it can be one, um, they both can be on the ground. You don't have to cross them up here if that doesn't feel good. Or you can put feet together. Um, and sit like this, whatever feels good, and you can tilt people up against the wall. But if you are, that you are sitting on your sit bones, and the easiest way to do this is just grab your thigh and pull it out, and pull out the other leg. Scoot your butt back, okay? Sit, then you make contact with your thighs or the back of your legs, and this is where you want to be sitting. So if you're on your sit bones or on the heavier part of your legs, like the thighs, then the balance is so much better, okay? So this is how you preferably would sit, okay? Relax the shoulders, the shoulders are relaxed. And if you get this positioning right, you, your body holds up the rest of your body. Of your, of your shoulders. So relax the shoulders, relax the jaw, and you can watch or type or read or do whatever um, it is that you like to do, but you're actually doing yoga whilst doing it. So it's two for the price of one. When you're standing, okay, same thing. You don't want to be slouched. So all of the energy needs to come from your legs, okay? Because the legs are the big muscles and the shoulders are the small muscles. So make the big muscles do the work, okay? So if you push down through your feet or root down through your feet, okay? So if you push down through the big toe mounds and through the heels, this will lift up your pelvis, okay? An easier 
way to do it is, so if you push down and pull, so if you pretend that you're putting on a pair of jeans that are two sizes too small for you, okay, and you have to suck in the belly and pull up the tight jeans, okay? So if you pull in your belly, not, not to where you can't breathe, but just activate the core muscles, which is the belly, and just imagine that you're putting on a pair of jeans that are too tight, you have to pull in the hips, push the hips in against each other, pull up like you're pulling roots up from the ground, pull up and like you have a suction cup on the arch of your foot. So imagine you have a suction cup sucking up on your feet. Let the legs be active because they're the big muscles and they're going to carry you around. So let them be active and strong and just let the rest of you relax, okay? So a nice thing to do to help with your posture is just cross your hands behind your back and grab your elbows, okay? So instead of crossing um, your hands like this, which makes us ultimately slouch, cross behind your back, roll the shoulders back, and your hands just rest in the arch of your back, okay? So this rolls the shoulders back, your chin is in the right place, belly button in towards the spine, or pull on the tight jeans, and there you have your perfect posture. And it's so much nicer to stand with your uh, arms behind your back because then you're not, well, number one, you're not slouching, but you also have your heart open, okay? So hopefully that makes sense. So you wanna be doing, you wanna be doing, um, you be aware of your posture, be aware of your surroundings, be aware of how you're treating your body all the time, not just when you're doing yoga, okay? So in your packages, there was packages sent home, you had two, well there was, I'm sure there was other things, but regarding yoga, you had two leaflets. Now we're gonna work on this leaflet right now, okay? So if you wanna look at it or pull it out, um, there's no need, but if you want like a reference, then you can um, go to this, okay? So we'll just go through these poses so you can relate the pose or the picture to an actual pose, and then you can practice them if you like, okay? So the five basic yoga poses, all right? So you can put that by your uh, mat if you like, and you learn these and you never have to look at the, you won't have to look at the, um, the leaflet again. So cat cow is exactly that. So if you imagine a cat that is really, um, you know, just kind of been scared, he rounds or she rounds her back up and a cow now the poor cow is a very sad looking um sort of uh tired cow and with an arched back okay not one that you would bring to the bear so the movement here so you want your alignment to be right so the shoulder is under the elbow is under the wrist and the knees are under the hip okay so tabletop so you start in tabletop and then you inhale don't worry about inhaling or exhaling, but try and have a movement going. So you inhale, belly button comes in towards the spine. You can lay your chin in towards your chest as well. And you can exhale, coming out. Push the tailbone back. Push the shoulders back and just fall into that pose. If you want to tuck your toes under, you go a little bit deeper. That is completely up to you, whatever feels good okay so it's just you can do as many of these this is really good for a tired back it's really good for the spine because you're just taking the vertebra and you are giving them a little stretch so this is really really beneficial okay so that's cat cow the next one is child's pose and this is really good if you are um stressed out it's just a nice little if you and it is like if, when we were children this is how we used to sleep um so you just bring your butt down onto your heels and you can do child's pose with your arms out that is your typical child's pose and resting child's pose are your hands down by your side with the palms facing up and a nice thing to do here is connect with your breath okay so you can feel your breath on your legs here and if you just look inward, um, you can really take a little sort of a holiday almost here, just breathing and feeling your breath 
feeling your breath on your upper thighs. Lovely. Excellent. Deep breath in. And being slow, we're coming out of poses. So the transition is as important as the pose. So you don't just yank yourself out of one. So we can come from child pose. And the next one on the list is down dog. Now down dog, I would do with hands wide. And try not to, and start from tabletop, okay? And then just bring the legs back. So one leg back and then the other, okay, and this is plank, and then for down dog, you just literally pivot back, butt goes up in the air, head comes back behind the arms, and you come down onto your heels, okay? Excellent. And then plank, so you can go from here to plank and back again. So plank, you can do plank on your forearms or on your arms. I like doing it here, but I'll show you the other version too that I have on the paper. So plank is here, and then up to down dog. So you could go from cat cow, tabletop, okay? And what you do is bring one leg back, and then the other, and then you're in plank, and then literally butt goes up in the air, your head almost automatically comes back behind your ears, or sorry, your arms, your ears come back behind your arms, push the tailbone up, and here we are in down dog, and then you can come to plank. Now in plank, you want your belly button in towards the spine, push those legs against each other, so, so you're not all up in your shoulders, relax the shoulders, and come here. Now, some people don't like plank here, they like to do plank. So again, you wanna make sure that you're not just yanking out of one, so you can go from here, and if you wanna try plank on your forearms, um, <clears throat> you can either um, bring your hands together, um, or have them out in like, uh, just like we had them. So you can have them either like this or like this, whatever works for you. Okay, so then it's the same dynamic. You can come at it from here. I would start up here and just make sure that your belly button is in towards your spine, that your elbows are under your shoulders and that you're not doing this because that's bad for your back. Okay, so I'd rather see you up here or in a straight line. Okay, excellent. And then the last one is Cobra. And then you would just drop yourself down to the ground. So it's a nice flow. And Cobra, I would start here with my hands straight out and just get used to it here. Make sure that you're comfortable here and loosen out your lower back, okay? You wanna, you can go deep in by pushing the elbows back energetically. So pushing back and pulling your head forward. And if that feels good, maybe start here. And when things start to feel a little bit looser, if you have a tight back, then going to the cobra. So bringing your hands underneath your shoulders and then just coming, straightening up the arms, bringing the shoulders back and making sure that there's no pain in your back here, okay? So always, always just listening to your body. So roll the shoulders back. Excellent. And if ever you do a back bend, not on the, you always want to finish with a forward bend. So a forward bend is where you stretch the spine. So down dog or child's pose. So child's pose will stretch out the spine or down dog. Okay. So if you ever um, do any kind of a back bend where you compress the spine, always, always counteract it with a forward bend of some sort, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. So that is this leaflet and um, just kind of play around with them and just make sure that you keep your alignment, um, just be in a line with your alignment, okay? So um, hope you have fun with those and next week we will do, or the next video, we will do the yoga flow for stress release, okay? See you next time. Thanks, bye.